Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. In this episode we are taking care... Well, give me a second here. We've got a few gargoyles to take care of. I'm just gonna let them walk in to my elven wand. Give me a moment to take care of these fellas. And over here we can tell we're at E3, M3, the confluence. And great, there's a tornado chasing me, so I'm going to move down here. Which I wouldn't recommend until you get rid of most of the gargoyles. But because there are a lot of gargoyles here and because I'm low on health a little bit, I'm going to go jump down here and try to get this iron lich to fight the gargoyles. And to fight the other enemies. So we'll see what happens. And this will make things a little more convenient. Okay. What's cool is with the tornado is sometimes you can get the tornado to attack other enemies. It doesn't look like that's helping much. But I would like to go ahead and grab this ammunition, these arrows, and these wand crystals. Okay, good. That took care of some of the gargoyle. Okay. Let's see here. I'd like to see if these guys would be taking care of anything else, but it doesn't look like they're want wanting to do that. I forgot there's a tornado here, so... Nothing I can do about it now, so I'm just gonna go and elven wand this guy a little bit. Oh, two tornadoes. Three tornadoes. Four tornadoes. I don't know how many. Doesn't look like he's doing much. Let me get out of here. Got him. And we got a morph of him out of him, so that's kind of a rare drop. So that's kind of nice. Um, I'm going to take care of this guy up here. There we go. There's some Ophidians up here, by the way, so don't worry about them too much. I'm going to pull out the Phoenix Rod now, simply because I'd like to use it on these guys. It's a little better. There we go. It's nice for these caged enemies because they can't really move around as much, so... Here's the yellow key, by the way. Easy to take care of these guys. Now I take out an easier uh, weapon for these. I don't really care if I'm damaged that much because we'll be okay. That was a shadow sphere, by the way, which is going to be useful, I believe. And let's see. We've got some enemies up here we need to take care of as well, and up there is the green key, so I'm going to see what we can do to take care of these guys. It's going to take a lot of hits on this guy. But this Vidian will just come over here. really don't want to waste my ammunition on him, but I think we got him. Well, if we didn't, we'll get, uh, get rid of him later. So now that we've gotten that done, we can open up this door. Oh, and those two doors won't open up until much later. So, let's see how I'm going to deal with these. I'm just going to deal with these one by one. Now that I'm in close quarters, I'm not going to use the Phoenix Rod very much. Well, let me get out of here. Come on. Well, I used it once. It's a very powerful weapon, though. I like it. And this teleporter is not opened up yet, obviously. It will. Sooner or later. And this is a secret, by the way. There are actually nine secrets in this level, which is the confluence, if I didn't mention that. So, you get distracted early on in a level, and you just forget about mentioning the actual title. But, we'll manage. Hmm. 
Okay. Forgot about the Ophidian here. I can't believe I walked into that. Well, anyways, there's a quartz flask here and two switches, so we might as well hit both of those switches. And the switches will take care of this teleporter, which takes us to the green key. And it also takes us to Ring of Invincibility and a Fire Mace, which we haven't really used yet. So, there you go. Now that we've got the green keys, we can go this way. And these two doors kind of open up to the same area, so we'll be alright. Kind of happy that I got the morph of them. I may find a good place to use that in this level. And by the way, these Ophidians can't really do much to you because this wall here is a little too high for them to reach, and I think that's kind of interesting. I'm going to try to see if... yeah, there we go. If these um, undead warriors will take care of the Ophidians a little bit. And maybe they'll attack each other, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> See, they can't do anything to me right now. Which is kind of funny. Might as well use the... Well, I could use the Phoenix Rod maybe on them. Well, that was really stupid. But anyway. It's funny, I didn't ever expect them to get out of their little ba boundary. But I guess they can if they walk that way. Okay, um, I know he's kind of blending in with the background, so that's all right. Some more Ophidians back here. Doesn't seem like they're going to be doing much, but yes, they can walk out of there if you're not careful. This would be a good place of Phoenix Rod in here, but we'll be all right. They don't seem to have any awareness that their attacks cannot reach me. And I think that's kind of funny. Now I think it's time for the Phoenix Rod. I'm going to use it in here first. If I can attack anybody. I wasted so much ammo on that. That's good enough. So you can tell this kind of goes back here with a blue door. And this opens up back here, so, so that's nice. And by the way, this is a Mystic Urn here with a secret. And the Mystic Urn is going to be very useful later. But we're not going to need it now. I think we're okay on health for now. And that takes care of the second secret out of nine. So there's an area up here we need to take care of. A couple of disciples. Nothing big. If we can just manage to survive, we will. We will survive. We will survive. I'm glad these guys can't teleport like wizards. There we go. I believe there might be another disciple around here somewhere. We'll take care of that center room later. These are fire golems, so watch out for that. But we'll be alright. There are going to be more fire golems in here, so just take care of them one by one. Try not to let them hit you like I did. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I wasted so much ammo on that. Let me switch weapons. 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 No. Got that taken care of, not taken care of. I'm going to deal with the secrets, mostly glass in this level. By the way. Oh, this looks like something. Well, guess what it is. One secret. Tome of Power. That's going to be useful. I'm not sure where I'm going to use the Tome of Power and Morph of them yet. The additional Morph of them and additional Tome of Power. But guaranteed, I will use it somewhere. 
This looks like a secret. Well, guess what? It is. If you find a texture that's kind of off, it probably is a, te a secret somewhere. And sometimes you can find that on the map there's probably going to be some sort of a hole somewhere. And you can kind of find out where the secrets might be. That is, if you don't have the map. So This doesn't look like a secret. That doesn't look like a secret either. This does look like a secret, but guess what? It's not until we open the door. This opens up a lot of enemies where those textures were. So it's not terrible, just keep that in mind. And I think this takes care of that. Now we've got the uh, yellow card, the green card, and we got that switch open, so that's nice. And let's go down here one more time. I just wanted to check something out. It looks like something, but it's not. Okay, I just wanted to double check something back here. That's, well, check out the map. Let's exit. These enemies are coming from somewhere, so it makes you wonder where. Well, guess what? This passageway opened up, so. And we can't grab that Tome of Power just yet, but we will soon. And we got four of nine secrets, so we're doing well on that. And this is why I took care of those enemies in there. And now we've got these Wear Minotaurs. And watch out in this area because you can get trapped. I got some Hellfire Staff ammo, some Lesser Runes right in the meantime where I needed it, so that's good. Okay, good. I think that takes care of those guys. Time Bombs are useful, although I may not use them in this level. What I'm more concerned about is the Tome of Power and the Morph of them, for sure. Let me check out my ammo. Um, I might use this a little bit. We'll be okay. Now that we've got the blue key, we can go back up here. Don't worry, we're almost about ready to exit the level. Here's a secret, by the way. I'm gonna just move out of here just to let these guys deal with their... So I can deal with them later. And... There we go. This Ophidian will follow me. I'm just gonna unleash my wand crystals on him. Somebody attacked me up there. Didn't expect him to be up there. There we go. Yeah, that took care of that. And there's another undead warrior up here. Or two. Or three. Okay. Must have had some damage from the phoenix rod. So that's a plus. And how many do I have here? Okay, good. I'm going to use the quartz flasks in case I need them. And here was a secret, by the way. Well, kind of not really a secret, but it's... Uh, doesn't count as a secret, an official secret, but it is a secret nonetheless. And there are a few golems up here, so I'm going to just pick them out a little few at a time. In case I can see any more. That red area up there is actually a crusher, so a crushing ceiling, so watch out for that. And hit both of these switches. And this area is also a little hidden area, hidden nook. Okay, and that's another secret with another quartz flask, and I would like to use the quartz flask because I may need some things here. I'm going to try to see what is next on the agenda. The quartz flask would be good. The Morphova might be good as well. Um, yeah, this might work. What I'm going to do here, um, if you go into this area right here, you're going to encounter a lot of disciples. So, there we go. That helped a little bit. Chickens can still hurt, injure you, so watch out for that. This worked on the disciples because they're in, a clo in very close quarters, so that's very nice. And that takes care of that. And this opens up the door back here, but this is for armor and lesser runes, and it's very nice. So, 
I would definitely do that. And you need this switch anyways to go up here for the stairs, so. Got attacked by those guys, but I don't really care too much. Because there's a lot of help around here and I still have some quartz flasks to take care of. See right here, that's a crusher. So I would probably not go for that unless you really wanted it. See, watch. See if I can trigger it. There we go, see it's a crusher. You can trigger it and just kind of grab it that way, so that's good. In your face, golems. Okay. And if you recognize where this was, this is where the Ophidians were at the top of the level, so... I'm gonna switch weapons probably. I haven't used the mace spears in a lot, so in a while anyway. So I'm gonna use that now. And this will open up the switches to the exit down there. And we still got a lot of monsters to take care of, so we've obviously got a secret area to get rid of. Well guess what? Here's one area we can take care of. we got everything here. Uh, don't scream at me if I miss anything. I will be around here later. I just want to double check on a few things before I keep moving on. Let's go back down now. Now if you'll notice this is lowered now so I definitely want to grab some items here. Even though I may not use them all there's still some enemies remaining. Phoenix Rod, even though I'm not going to need it. So. Well, I may need it before the exit. Before the level's over, rather. We'll find out. Oh, forgot that quartz flask. This level has a bit of symmetry, so keep that in mind. I am going to go down here, though. Because there are a few more enemies that exited around here, because there is a whole area here that we have to deal with. I'm just going to deal with these guys. Enjoy my balls of steel. Okay, there we go. I like these little balls kind of splash in the water. Ah, I forgot about you. Alright, I'm not going to use my Morph of them anymore, because I'm going to save it for the next level. But that's nice, that it's there. Obviously, this is a little secret with the map scroll. It's nice that we get the map scroll. And we've got another Iron Lich, but that's okay. He's not that difficult. I just want to get out of the way for the tornadoes in case he gives me a tornado. They're easy to deal with in tight quarters like that. And we've got him to deal with. Of course, the exit's right there. We can't grab that just yet. And that's not a secret. Oh, and this is kind of cool. The scrolling wall texture. Kind of like it's magic symbols or something, I suppose. So, anyways, we've got seven of nine secrets, and we've not gotten all the enemies yet, so we need to find the rest of the secrets. So let's zoom in on the map and let's take a look. For those of you who aren't aware, there is an easy way to just check for the secrets and looks like there's something around here too. So I'm going to check that out. I think, um, I think there's something around here. That looks kind of suspicious. Oh, this is why, because this lowers this. And this is yet another secret, which takes us up here. And this lowers here, so we can go up here. So that takes us back up there, in case you needed to for whatever reason. I'd like to go back here and get the items. That's the wrong way. And then from here, 
we will... Because this is what I want. I'm going to get some more of these. Okay, we don't need any more of that. Let's pull out the arrows for now. And there's um, going to be two, one other secret around here somewhere we're going to have to find. So, let's take a look around here. See what we can discover. Aha! This is a whole area here we haven't looked at. So, it's right there. And what I'm going to have to do... Let's go back that way. Back to there, take a right, and that's where I'm going to have to go. I think that's just a whole boatload of gargoyles, so... I'm going to put follow back on. Alright, so we're going to have to go back here. And if you go back here... Okay, did that take care of? There's three, still three more enemies around here somewhere. That hurt a little bit, but I don't really care. So, yeah, we've got one more enemy around here somewhere. It's probably just a gargoyle somewhere. Um, yeah, it probably is. Um, good. And this takes us back here. And I'm going to have to find that last enemy around here somewhere. Bet it's a gargoyle around here. Or maybe it's something else somewhere else. Or maybe it's in here. Check that, we check that, we check that. There's nothing up here. Let's see. I'm gonna have to find out where this is, so... Well, let me double check up here. Took care of that. There's no enemy over here. None down here. Alright, I'll have to find where that enemy is, and I will be right back. Okay, this is the last secret that I forgot about, and all it was in here was a gargoyle, so I'm going to meet you at the exit, and we'll complete the level. All right, we're ready to finish it. I don't need that. 100% of everything, I'll accept it. And thank you so much for watching. Let's play Heretics, Shadow of the Serpent Riders. On the next episode, we're going to take care of the Azure Fortress. So thank you so much, and have a good day. Bye.